Hi guys, I am back. Welcome back to Jinrai Gaming Channel. I know it's been a very long stretch of a time, but yeah, it's because I was distracted. At the same time, I was not really paying attention to whatever happened with the global TAC as of late, except for doing the daily and uh, checking out the Heart Dungeon, which is pretty impossible for me to pass at this point because I don't have the right unit to do it. Yeah, it is very unfortunate, even though I have Sita, but I don't have the right unit to actually taking on the damage. That's, that's my main problem. If you have a unit that is capable of taking on the damage dealt, then you can pass it uh, rather easily. But if you cannot, then, you know, I really, I have a bunch of uh, HP 400, under 400, you know, a unit <laughs> so and most of them get one shot so I cannot handle that um, no matter what I do I just cannot because my unit is not um, let me just say that my whole unit is not enough to do it so the current new update is actually giving me hope to do this uh, better so uh, let's take a look how much of this update helps okay guys as you guys can see here um, it's basically still looking the same, but there are a lot of major differences now. First of all, the milestone, uh, sorry, the daily tasks give you more energy than before. So aside from the usual video as 80, 400, now look, the first time you clear energy used to be nothing. You still only have 150 experience. Now they include energies, and the second one include more energies and. More energies, more energies, more energies, more energies, more energies. Yes, there are a lot of energies coming for this. So yes, it is actually much better for those that actually want to play longer or go for more dungeons, which is good. So this is the first update that I actually set it that you can see right away. Okay, um, the new unit is here. Uh, this is the Sacred Stone second part, second episode of the Sacred Stone. It's Kudan Stain, Kudan uh, Kudan Stain. This unit is really good. He's a spear jumper, um, a ninja type of uh, unit that is basically really, really unique. Uh, well, all of the sacred, you know, Genesis, Dragon Genesis, actually in Japan, um, they are all very unique, special. And, uh, you should actually try to get him if you're lucky, because in the future, let's just say, that, uh, let, let me give you a little bit hint here. Um, Kudan stay here, if you get him, even though you cannot get the shards and everything, uh, sometime in the future, far future, I don't know how far it will be, but um, after a while, um, there will be a heart dungeon for uh, for this sacred, uh, uh, sacred stone story, where you can farm his shard. So yeah, so that's, that's actually a thing in Japan, although I haven't unlocked it. Even though I played Japan, I haven't unlocked it because I was so distracted with a lot of events there, guys. I played Japan and I was. Uh, I played Japan and I, I know I'm not supposed to talk too much about the band, but uh, you know, the difference is massive, so massive. And uh, it, it takes so much uh, of, out of me from global, and that's why it distracted me because I'll be honest with you, I like to play that server more than I play here because. I, for some reason, I just felt I stale after a while. I felt that everything I've done here stale, done. Like the story doesn't really progress that much. It only progress like one chapter, and I can finish that within like 25 minutes, 30 minutes. If you actually read the whole story, probably one hour, two hours, done. After that, you just wait. Uh, no more story, you know. And uh, you you do the you know I and I don't stop right. But here's the thing, as a gamer, me, as good as I am playing and try to find a cheap way to actually go into hard dungeons in a way, unfortunately it doesn't work here. I, I try all the methods I can get, but none of my unit is actually capable of doing it. Here's a, here's a problem, I am more of a guy that loves to play story quests first before anything else. So that's the thing. Now, um... We already see the energy up, uh, we see a new unit, and there's another upgrade here on the story quest. Our hard story quest, some of them now finally worth more than what it's supposed to be. Uh, you guys see? 
there's a certain unit that is not supposed to be there right she's here so she is in this reward she's in this reward she's, she's not supposed to be in reward but they change it they give her a peer but I still kind of disagree with the energy use the energy use is too much for this I don't know but I hope they change it in the future but okay so a uh, freak also finally getting to the five stars they, they upgraded so it's good uh, free also you put it up here finally um, there's another uh, unit Rahu Rahu is finally in this heart dungeon as well so I'm pretty sure for those that have already have Rahu you will very be very ecstatic now now you can finally farm her shards as for me now I don't have Rahu and still that that's probably one of my problem I don't have Rahu I don't have a very you can say that uh, a decent chronomancer ready for me to use even though I have those in it, but I don't not have them as chronomancer uh, Reagan, we got Reagan, Reagan up and Shihai also up so yeah you guys can check out all these uh, dungeons some of them already change it okay uh, those units already up for you to grab uh, um, I think Lofia and Ra, uh, Lofia also up, uh, including Lucian. Lucian also up, so you guys actually have a better, better chance now. Um, yes. Uh, well, let's see first. The point is here, so it's not just Dios. Where is it? Ah, there you go. See, uh, Zangetsu is up. But not all of them being changed accordingly yet, so some of them still like uh, basically. Uh, there you go. Ah, uh, Lucian. Lucian is up. Uh, some of them still basically useless. They do not need to go in there. Like the worth is nothing. Yeah. Not worth it. Not worth it. You know. Anyway, um, we got some of the units that are getting up there. Uh, the dungeons are getting better in a sense that you get to form all of them <clears throat> and the sacred stone episode 2 the chapter 1 is open back uh, you can get canon back as for all of you that want to know when you can get canon to level higher level it's simple you have to wait for chapter 3 chapter 3 is when canon will become somewhat new okay I'll give you a little bit hint over here I play Japan I know it's chapter 3 Okay, so wait for chapter 3. Chapter 2 is all about Kagura. So just play Kagura and get her, 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 get her there. Okay? Do whatever you can do to get her. Now, I know some of you still have a problem in farming <coughs> Masamune. Let me tell you something in a cheap way of farming Masamune. I know it's. I know not a lot of you guys can go to you know uh, the last of the multiplay, the last play here in multiplay. Yes. Even I have problem. Even I have problem going there. Uh, I mean, my unit. It, not not all of my unit are ready for here. I find this one right. So instead of going here, just go to the beginning. Take at least one ninja earth unit, ninja earth unit, or you can get Almira, whatever. Whoever it is, whoever it is, whatever you need to get, get. If it's ninja, it's even better. Why? This dungeon beginning right here is very easy to clear, and you can clear it by yourself. Do not need to involve other people here because our multiplayer here is very suck. I'll be honest with you. Our multiplayer, the connection is just waiting time is just too long. Sometimes it's not worth it just to wait that long, and sometimes you go to the third. Uh, you know, third one, and if you're not going with Magnus friend or, or, or let's just say Shina or, or, or all higher units that capable of helping you completing the whole situation in there, it's, it's worthless. It's worthless going there because sometimes you can only get 3 shards, right? 20 energy, 3 shards, and you probably play for half an hour, right? You go here, you finish within 5 minutes, you can get 1 to 3 shards, guaranteed. 1 to 3. Okay, if you're lucky, you get three. If you unlock, uh, you know, unlucky, you always get one. There's always one in the chest right away, and you can finish it with the five minutes. 
and you can keep repeating it, repeating yourself. Think about it. In a half hour, you run this six times. In half hour, you most likely only run that probably one time or twice. Let's just say you have a very good teammate. Ten minutes, three times. If you're lucky, you're really lucky. Of course, you can get twelve shards, you know, like thirteen shards. I've seen people post that, but it's like once in the blue moon. <laughs> Not all of the time it will happen. Of course, if it happens a lot, then well, good on you, right? I cannot guarantee, and you also cannot guarantee yourself that you will have that the correct teammate that will go in there and enter and just clear things up, right? If you have the right team, you probably will just go, 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 keep going, keep going, the same thing. But the problem is, you cannot go, you cannot keep going, finding the same person unless you're connected with a guy. So, in, in a sense, I probably say that you, if you want to do that, try to contact each other, uh, understand that, that you guys want to play this, and uh, multiplay, you know, that dungeon. Take turns whoever then open the dungeon or something like that. But as far as if you're playing with unknown, right? Playing with unknown knowledge, just go to the beginning, get ninja unit like Yomi. Okay? Yomi is fast enough to go into that. I, 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 or probably um, Almira, Almira, the second job as a Beastmaster, she, she runs really fast. Okay? Take units that can run fast and you will finish it okay and uh, that's all i can tell you about that uh, that particular masamune hunting i do not play enough unfortunately because i was again i was very distracted by the japan server and that is my problem and as you can see my masamune still next for 64 i cannot believe it right you cannot believe it some way probably already i think most of players that actually really grinding this for already level 85 by now I'm still level 64. <laughs> Let's just show how little I play. And as far as this hard dungeon right here, this extra dungeon right here, you see, this is the thing that I kinda dislike about the current global server. You see, I cannot pass this for a good reason. First of all, the heat just a little bit way too hard for me to take. And your level need to be at least 66, 67, or here's the thing, some of the guys say, oh, it doesn't need to be 68, 69, 70, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know you have Shina. Yeah, I know you have Rahu. Maybe. Yeah, I know you have God, you have units that is capable of shooting twice or three times. I don't know, because Rahu, yeah. But what about guys that don't have? Tell them in their face. Can you solve their problem? I'm pretty sure you can't. I'm pretty sure they'll talk about, oh, just bring China, or oh, just bring, oh, come on. Oh, come on. That's the thing that I was talking about, how selective it is with the current, you know, with the current uh, game. It's too selective. It must be those units. It will come down to, oh, let's talk about Magnus again. Okay, come on, look, it's Magnus again. Not everybody can get Magnus. Come on. Come on, really. We all know how difficult it is. I know. I go in with level 85 unit. They are not ready. They cannot take damage. It's too hard. They hit too hard, unfortunately. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's the only thing I can say. And maybe you can actually go in there with a uh, tier thing. But. In order for Tearfing to be ready, you need to make Tearfing to, um, I think, master all the three jobs and she probably can tank almost every single damage dished out by the enemies. I'm pretty sure. So, this is the reason why I you know, want to get her to 85 as soon as possible, but the thing is, once again, I got distracted by Japan server, that's why I cannot go too much details. But if Tearfing is ready, I'm pretty sure Tearfing will have at least 800 HP or somewhere, somewhere around that. And she will have a very tough defense and she won't get killed and she will be able to tank a lot of damage while you bring some of your snipers or long range enemies that, uh, I mean long range unit that dishing out damage slowly. So, uh, 
that's all. That's all I can. That's all I can say, guys. So good luck with that. Uh, I cannot say anything more than that. People say, oh, just bring fatal. Yeah, I don't have fatal. <laughs> so guys, this is your lifesaver, and if she is truly your lifesaver, and I hope she is. I hope she will. I believe she is. Uh, good luck, right? Good luck, really. And if this if it's really work, then yep, it works. Anyway, guys, uh, this is all the news that I can give you. Uh, get Kagura. She's she's a really really good unit. Uh, very 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 good unit. Although my Japan server, I didn't actually get the time to race her. So many things to do. So many things. Anyway, guys, um, I will tell you guys this about my status in global server. I might not be as active as before. But I will try to, you know, stay with the news, stay with the updates at the very least. That's all I can do. But as, as uh, when it comes to gameplay and everything, maybe once in a while I'll put it up. But other than that, I probably cannot. Okay? I'll probably put up Japan server instead, but that's not the, the, the intention, but I don't know. I'll just put it up whatever I think that is appropriate for you guys to see, and that's all. Alright guys, good luck and uh, have fun with these new updates, and I'll probably play a little while before I actually you know, go to sleep and relax. Until then, I'll see you guys again. Jinrai Gaming Channel, out! Bye bye!